It's beginning to look a lot like peak hurricane season. How weird will it get? So yeah, apparently the GFS yesterday was like, it might get really weird. But then everybody's like, there's no way you will get two major hurricanes making landfall in about 14 days. So, nobody knows. In good news, it appears the possible tropical low that was coming out of the Yair, the odds have gone down. Florida storm chasers, the latest 12Z Euro ensembles have decreased chances of something tropical developing in the eastern Gulf. 25 to 30%. So, that's good news. But, uh... The chances of a hurricane, tropical storm, depression, hitting around August 20th for the OBX, Carolinas, Georgia, possibly Florida, apparently are higher. Mike Gagliardi, or Gag Liar, die. I'm not one to pay attention to model runs 300 hours out. But I do find the latest run of the GFS pretty interesting. A lot of agreement on a landfalling hurricane in the Carolinas. Roughly 10 members make landfall in the Carolinas. And right now, nobody knows, and there's no direct threat to anything or anybody hurricane-wise. But we are approaching peak hurricane season. And it is WTF 2025, so it's best to stay aware. Sidebar, how's everybody been enjoying this Mercury retrograde? Saturn and Mars are about to face off at high noon tomorrow. Can you feel it? And tonight, we're watching out for possible severe weather in the entire state. Well, like 96% of it in North Dakota. Plus, other states around it could get severe weather as well. But I sure do like to obsess and pontificate over possible hurricanes. And Mike's weather page was saying it. Latest Thursday 12Z runs on Tropical Tidbits for August 17th. This is that new wave coming off of Africa, not current Invest 96. Consistent idea to keep watching, because it comes in low and tight. Well, it might. All right. And NOAA updated their hurricane season outlook today. Still calling for above average the rest of the year. So, yeah. It's not a great time to let your guard down. And the latest 18Z GFS hot off the presses brings a major hurricane into the Carolinas on the 22nd, which is like 15 days away. I've been running and gunning and haven't had a chance to dive deep into the discussion about the interstellar object. That one professor dude was like, it could be an alien probe that is here to eat us all. But hopefully we'll get to that soon. Fascinating. Hey, y'all. The commander-in-chief, Donald Trump, was like, you know what? We plan to undo most of the cuts to the National Weather Service that were put in place earlier this year by Doge. And I'm like... Hey, that is a super great idea. So, kudos. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. But I know for damn sure, I don't want no damn plague. You know? Nuclear power plant on the moon. NASA wants a reactor on the lunar surface by 2030. But is it possible? Yeah, probably. And I would like the best wife ever by 2030 as well. If I get it sooner, that would be great. Here, we're looking at the latest Hublé picture of that interstellar comet. And it looks like a comet. Happy weekend, y'all. Did you know Sidney Sweeney's brother is in the Air Force? Hey, thank you for your service, dude. Hurricane Man. It's like one thing that gives me pause with the Euro AI showing a landfall is the ridge over troubled waters 10 days out. 
you know, so you kind of hope for some type of pocket break in the ridge, you know what I'm saying? So that they go like, pew! But we'll see. I would say there's like a 3 to 5% chance we could get some shit like that over the next two months. It reminds me, we have a Thor newsism that's almost a scientific certainty, asterisk. Five days before and five days after uh, an eclipse, you watch for a major storm. And of course, in between those days, especially lunar, I mean, I'm sorry, especially solar stuff. So, September 2nd through the 13th, and September 16th through the 26th, we are absolutely 1,000% on Hurricane Watch. And if I had to polymarket bet on when a hurricane would happen, that would be my bet. Did you know you can bet on people throwing dildos on the WNBA court during a game on Poly Market. You can even bet on the color of the dildo. It seems strange. You got to give, well, you don't have to, but I give J.D. Vance credit. He seems to have a decent sense of humor about stuff. Hey, does everybody have their shell back to school backpacks? Disney is like, we have absorbed Hulu, but we're not a monopoly. We're pretty damn close. And a Taylor Joy. People sure love talking about artificial intelligence. Hey, but whatever makes your heart flutter. Have you guys seen the new War of the Worlds yet? People are also talking about that. So I tried to buy Strokes tickets in El Paso because it was a 2,500-person venue. I'm a huge Strokes fan. And they went on sale, and I did not get tickets. But then, like, instantly those tickets were being resold for as much as $3,500. Man, I bet Algos get all the tickets. And then the AI doesn't even go watch the concert. I had a super-duper time yesterday. I went to Houston. I had dinner with... Fitzroy and Red Dragon. Yeah, oh, is it Suma Sushi? Oh, my. OMA Sushi in Houston Sugarland. It's like all you can eat high end sushi. 35 bucks per person. It was delicious. Great environment. Love the place. Super high recommendation. I really enjoyed the Harry Potter role. What are y'all's plans for the weekend? Illinois, Minnesota, and states. In the green, and tenth, you're watching out for heavy rain. And that area is also going to be watching out for heavy rain over the next week. Jupiter and Venus are going to be meeting up in the sky around the 11th and 12th. So the energy will probably get really crazy tomorrow with a bunch of angry people as Saturn and Mars throw an opposition party. But then after that, it should be pretty cool. It's a roller coaster, ups and downs. I gotta get my spark back. But yeah, Hurricane Outlook. Somewhere between like 15th to like 26th. Fireballs. But yeah, th this model run yesterday sure caused a lot of commotion. Wouldn't it be great if there were no major hurricanes? Or no hurricanes this hurricane season. That would not be my bet on poly market, though. All right. Ewoks are no longer following Sam Altman. Legend Mariah Carey was asked, would she like to go to outer space? And she said, baby, I think I've done enough. All right, so stay cool. Have a great weekend. I will talk to y'all very soon. God bless everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. And happy anniversary, Blackpink. I hope you guys extend your tour and come to Texas in 2026.